Hi, this is the second part to our effects tutorial using Ableton Live. Um, and what we're going to do here is um, use various effects that are going to uh, bring our tracks back to life. Um, I've got my little beat from our first tutorial. And what we're going to do is uh, actually use a saturator onto one of our tracks. So if you play our little loop again, and let's find a saturator. There we go. Here's saturator. And I'm going to use the preset hot tubes. What this is, is that the plugin can stimulate um, anything from subtle tape saturation to an all out analog distortion. Uh, these sorts of effects have like gained more popularity due to say the pristine um, nature of digital. So this is the effect um, gathering pace. Uh, and the type of distortion is here on the left. And if we press medium it gets more harsh. Hard and not too bad. So we go to medium. Now let's have a go with some of the like the little knobs and devices here. If we give the bass a little bit twirl, what happens is is that it sucks out all the uh, the low frequencies. So we've just got the high ones playing there. And then if we give the depth one, it's just increasing um, the effect just a little really. And our drive is how much actual um, effects, how much distortion actually gets played onto our track nothing a little bit quite harsh and remember we can always um, set our output so it's not too loud so just get into there and dry and wet what that means is that dry is without anything um, actually being played no effect actually being played onto our loop but if we increase it, we have a hundred percent effect being played onto our loop. So we can, if we increase the drive, see, we don't have it that much. So we can bring that down. There we go. That's using distortion um, onto our tracks just to get a little bit more oomph out of them, just to spice them up a little bit really.